Hey, wonderful soul. Nice that you are here on this journey back again with me. It's the journey to reconnect ourselves to the knowledge and to the energy of the dolmens that are spread worldwide. And I started this work many years ago when I didn't even know that one day I would actually be spreading the word, <laughs> the word about it around the world. And I'm doing this because I feel that there's so few people only talking about it now already. I really only know people um, who are writing books and talking openly in the public about it in Russia. So there are two different series of books there and none of them is translated into German or English so far. But there is a we website which is partly translated in English and a little bit in German, which I actually translated into German. And later on I will see that I can find someone to take an interview about these two book series so that you can get my information right from Russia about it. But today's vlog is about a different topic. It's about the dolmens in Germany and how to find them. So a wonderful soul asked me this question on YouTube and that's why I answer now with the second video blog and why has it taken so long for me to actually do the second vlog about the dolmen work well because it's not a question of time but it's a question of feeling that the energy has come up for the opening of this knowledge you know Mm, it's when people are starting to be interested in it that I feel the energy to share and to get the people and get myself even deeper in touch with this wonderful energy. And yeah, it's something that we're in all together because we are all shaping the collective energy together and it's it's us, you know, it's us making the difference, it's us reconnecting to nature, reconnecting to our soul path, reconnecting to the knowledge that our ancestors, our forebears once had. And we are worth to get in touch with this knowledge, we deserve it. Because we are wonderful souls and all the heavy things, you know, that we carry around within ourselves it's all it's all something that we may start now to forgive ourselves to forgive the others to release all people and to open up to the original truth which is deep within ourselves so i think that the dolmens find us when we are ready but that is only my little thinking um, I I started to see dolmens in Germany when I traveled a lot by train uh, and then one, one way that I was always the same train I used to take regularly I took it and in winter I could see how there in North Rhine-Westphalia in Oberhausen um, in a big city in winter I could see a dolmen and I was so amazed because it was right very close to the city center and I wrote myself down where exactly to find it and even though it was so close so many times I've never been there <laughs> because it was not so easy to reach from the yeah from the train station and I didn't have a car and yeah, somehow I never went there because also it, it's not, it wasn't far away from something, but it it was just not so easy to reach out. And this dolmen is nowhere registered, nowhere that I found found it registered. 
And that's the point, you know, some dolmens are registered on websites, some are even popular, some are even um, researched by scientists and others are somewhere hidden. Some are hidden to be found in some forest but easily visible and others are not so easily visible which means they might be um, underneath the earth or something put on it or they might they even be broken apart so this is um, maybe even a more a challenge it's for us to develop our energetical um, eyesight or our our ability to feel and sense the energy and then once we're ready we will be able to connect to all that is there waiting for us i'm 100 percent certain that we will in the future be able to connect to all the dolmens that are storing energies for us because our heart will show us the way just like mine showed me my way and um, yeah, of course, it happened in Russia that I um, established a very deep connection to the dolmens because I lived at a guest family very close to one or to several dolmens, one which was yeah more popular and easily visible. But as time went by, I could also sense and understand other dolmens there in the area. And yeah, since yeah, one wonderful soul asked me about the dolmens in Germany. I want to yeah, give you some information how to find them. So, as far as I know and as I found out, many, many of them are located in the north of Germany. So, in the states of Schleswig-Holstein, Mecklenburg, Vorpommern also Niedersachsen, maybe also Brandenburg. Um, there are many, but many, many, and I mean very many, in many villages and um, yeah, sometimes it's people living close by and knowing these stones, but knowing very little actually about the importance of these stones and these portals, um, storages or communicative centers. Um, and I know that also in North Rhine-Westphalia, in North Rhine-Westphalen, there are dolmens because, as I said, I've seen them. Um, and I don't know, maybe there are some in every state. That's maybe possible. But definitely in the north there are very many. And um, I know, because I found it somewhere once in the internet, that there is one book which explains and describes some or many dolmens. But um, as far as I understood it, it was more like a scientific list uh, and gathered knowledge, not so much the new energy actually connecting to the um, information there. But nevertheless, I'm sure that it's a wonderful piece of work. And so there are two good tools that I know that I can recommend to you. The one is an, a map, so it's not Google Maps, but it's called Osmand. And I will type you down the name in the description of the video. And this is an app which you can use just like a map. And then, well, it's a great, great tool. It has many options, but it's not so easy to use it because it's not so user friendly, you know, because it's open source and free and doesn't have so many funds. So, nevertheless, it's amazing and you can somewhere there use the option that it will show you automatically all archaeological places. Then, when you scroll over the map, it will show you 
little orange spots and you can click on there and it will tell you what it is so it can be an old castle but you will also find that many many of the places are dolmens they are sometimes called Großsteingrab, Hühnengrab, Dolmen you see there are different words uh, or names they are being used and it's maybe your own task to feel which one will be very important for you which one um, stores the energy that is important for your personal growth or for your abilities and I can very much recommend this app Osmond so a second card that I found out is also a map but it's online so it's nothing that you have to download first it's simply in the internet and it's called